To my left came this guy, I had no idea. And I had a 35 millimeter lens and a single frame camera. And uh, he went over and I seen him go for his pistol. Well, when somebody goes for their pistol, they normally threaten. But I've taken pictures like that, somebody threatening somebody, you know, do this or I'm gonna shoot you. Fifty years ago, an AP photographer named Eddie Adams captured one of the most famous images of all time, a photo that some say changed the course of the Vietnam War. It shows South Vietnam's police chief shooting a handcuffed Viet Cong prisoner in the head at the start of the 1968 Tet Offensive. Many historians say the graphic image reshaped the way Americans viewed the war. It also went on to win the Pulitzer Prize. Adams recalled that February day in a 1998 interview for an AP oral history project. Here are excerpts from that interview. Slow day. So we got in the car and we went to Cholon. And Cholon is a Chinese section of Saigon. And uh, we got within a couple of blocks of the area. And uh, it was very quiet. There wasn't any, there's no movement. When there's no movement, no people, you know that something is up was ready to go back because we really didn't have anything. So we started back and we got maybe 25 yards up from, 30 yards up from the pagoda. And we see them pulling this guy out of a building. He was on the ground floor then. And they were like taking him by the hand and they pulled him out on the street. Now, to backtrack, like any photographer, say news photographer, when you grab a prisoner in New York or something, you just follow him, I mean, it's a picture. You know, you follow him until he's loaded into a wagon and driven away, until he's, you can visually see him. We seen him grab this guy, and we started walking him down the street. And they just kept walking up maybe about uh, 100 yards to the corner. And had a sequence of pictures. He's just walking, I don't know who this guy is. And they stopped for a minute, and to my left, I was about five feet away from him. Uh, I seen him fall to the ground, and I turned my head because I didn't want to shoot what I seen, and I had seen uh, maybe three or four foot spot of blood just shoot up like a water fountain, and I didn't want to shoot that. I thought there was no reason. I waited, and I said, somebody's telling me when it's done. And then I turned, I took up more frames of just the body laying there. And right after this happened, uh, we found, uh, he was a colonel then. Uh, we didn't know who he was. So this guy comes walking, he puts his pistol in his holster and came walking right by, <coughs> like I'm saying, I'm from by the, five feet away. And he said they killed many of my men and many of your people and just kept walking.